Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. Today we are going to create some kind of jumping text animation inside of After Effects. It will be very interesting video. This kind of text animation seems so cool to me, that's why I am making a video on this. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects, and let's get started. Alright, let's create a composition with normal settings. Then take the type tool, and type a letter like this. Press Alt plus Ctrl plus Home button to center the anchor point. Then place the letter at the bottom of the composition like this. Try to use some funky font like this. You can easily find the same font on the Google. Make sure you add a stroke on the letter, and also set the fill color white for now. Press P to open position property. On the first frame, add a keyframe on position, then go forward to 20 frames, and change the position something like this. Then for forward to 20 frames more. Then copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Then after 20 frames, copy the second keyframe, and paste it here. After more 20 frames, copy the first keyframe, and paste it here. So basically, it's a simple position keyframes, but with one rotation. Now press Shift plus R to open rotation. Then add a keyframe on the rotation at the first frame. Then go forward to third keyframe, change the rotation value to 180 degree. Then go to the last keyframe, and change its value to 1. So this is the simple position and rotation keyframing. If you are still in this video, hitting the subscribe button will be awesome. Also press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Now select all position keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open graph editor, make sure you are in edit speed graph. Then double click on this points, and check this lock option. Do the same for other two points. Now change the graph something like this. Drag this points all the way to left and right. Now this looks fine. Let's keep this animation in loop. Alt plus click on this stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then type this expression. Do the same for rotation also. Now if we play this, it will keep jumping in loop. Now select the layer, press P to open position. Now, I am sharing one tip here. Whenever you're changing the position of the letter after applying keyframe, make sure you are on the any applied keyframe. Then select all the position keyframe, then change the position of the letter, like this. If you do it from any random position on the timeline, you will end up creating a new keyframe. So always follow the steps whenever you or change positions of something, after applying the keyframes. Now let's duplicate this letter by pressing Ctrl plus D, and change it to another letter. And change its position like this. In one line, let's create a complete word by following the same process. I am fast forwarding this section, so you guys don't get bored. Alright, now if we see carefully, we can see some letters are not animating in the right way. Such as this O letter. It's merging with other letters. It's just because of this anchor points. To fix this, select the layer, press A to open anchor point property, then change the anchor point position something like this. Try to place the anchor point on the center on the letter. After fixing the anchor point, Adjust the position as well. Let's fix them for all the letters. If you want to learn some other text animation, you can check out my text animation playlist on the i button. Now it looks perfect. Again, 
After that, offset these layers by one frame. Now pre-composed all the layers. Give it a name you like. Now, make duplicate of the pre-composed layer, from the project window, and place it on the timeline. Then open the composition, and change the fill color of the letters. Also move that composition to the left side a little bit. Then keep duplicating the composition from the project window. And change the colors to a different color. and move it to the left side a little bit. Keep doing the process 4 to 5 time. Don't make it too much, otherwise it will not look that good. At the end, offset these compositions by one frame also. And the animation is done. Now you just need to find a perfect time gap for the loop. And you are done. I know this is not something you need for professional work, but I hope you get something from here. So this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one, till then have fun and stay safe.